In this video, we are going to create a mobile app such that when there is a Wi-Fi, it shows a normal page, but when there is no network, it will show another page to warn the user that there is no connections. So first, we are going to init a new app inside here. So to create a new app, we are going to type expo init and then net info. This is a app name, the folder name, net info app, and we choose blank. And after it finished, we type cd and then we type the info, the net info app, and then we type cook dot. Now, if we go to the documentation, you can see we have to install the net info by using this cook and paste it to the terminal. So we go to the terminal and paste here. And then we back to the VS Code and create the function.js. And inside the function.js, we are going to import the net info. So we copy this and paste it at the top of the code. And also in order to check the net info, we are going to copy this and then we are going to create a new functions. And then we can return this promise. And instead of console.log, we are going to return the state is connected. So we delete this and return. And then we copy a no connection image from the internet and paste it here. And then we back to app.js. We import react and then comma you stay from the react and then we also import check connected from the functions and then we are going to check the current status of the network so we are going to create a state constant and then connect status and then we use set connect status and equal to use state and the default value, we set it to false. And then we are going to check connected dot then because this is a promise. And then we are going to set the connect status to this result because at the functions, here we'll return true or false. It depends on the network status. So now we are going to create a new screen, which is no network screen which is display the screen for the user that there is no network. So we create a new folder called screens. And then we create a new JavaScript, which is no connection screen .js. And then we create a new component. And we also import the style sheet test and also will from the React Native. And then at this time, we just create a simple component. And then we back to the app.js. And at the top of the network, we import the no connection screen from the screens, no connection screen. And then on the return, we can check depend on the connect status if this is true then we display a normal screen otherwise we display the no connection screen now to run the app to the simulator we are going to open the terminal and type expo start and then we press a and now you can see the default page and you can check it if we set the connect status to false and save you can see it already display the no connection screen and we can go to the no connection screen and modify this page and we are going to import the image so we have to import the image from react native and we also want to use this container style so we copy this and 
paste it to our node connection screen and we also copy the style and paste it to our view now you can see the node connection word already at the center of the screen now we are going to import the image so instead of using the test we are going to use the image component and this is a self-closing tag and the source is equal to we already paste it here inside the asset folder so we use require and then you can see the asset folder and also the node connection or we can rename you can see this is png file it cannot be resolved because there should be a s here so we save again and now you can see the file already here and you can see the image is very large so we have to scale the image by adding the style equal and width is equal to 30% and height is also equal to 30% now you can see this is much smaller but the scale the display is a little bit weird because it do not show the whole image so we are going to change the resize mode to contain now you can see the whole image and now we are going to add a button to check the network because we should have a button so the user can press the button and we check the network if this network it should go back to the normal page so we have the button and then the title is equal to reload page we haven't imported the button so at the top we are going to import the button and delete the text now you have the button of below page so now we can back to the app.js and we are going to pass the function here so we use on check is equal to check connected and then at the no connection screen we are going to use on press is equal to and then we should pass the props here and then props dot on check now we should already pass the function to the below page but and since we are going to use the emulator we cannot see the button already trigger the check connected functions again so we are going to add the alert check connected so we can see it already execute the functions so now if we back to the app and click below page you can see it already triggered the functions so you can imagine it works when you are going to use the view device and now we can return this to results rather than hard code a false value here so we save it it already back to the original page and we should also delete the alerts again 